think the images are really beautiful. It's very nice to see something a little bit more contemporary done on something that is very ancient. Um, and I particularly like all the black and white images that are done with the workers. Um, and some of the images where there's no life in them are really beautiful and you can really feel the, the life in the sculptures. There's one over there with the mask on the floor and a shadow covering half of it. But there's a lot of life in it somehow. Beautifully photographed things and it's nice about Calcutta, Durga Puja, the colours are very vibrant and some of the black and whites are also beautiful. I mean she's just taken uh, the how it's Durga is created with the molds and everything and it's amazing. Fascinating to see an exhibition about Durga in London and it's really timely. It's the beginning of September and Durga Puja is at the end of the month. For me in London it just reminds me of time two years ago in Calcutta where I was invited and saw the festival celebrated as it is there. Great exhibition. That's uh, Ian Thomas um, for the Cantar Public on the main list of the Nero Centre. don't come very often, but I, I looked at the email I had and I thought, yeah, the, this looks very interesting. I was listening to Salman Rusty's Midnight Children being serialised on Radio 4 yesterday as well. That's have added to it because that's set in Mumbai and other parts of India. I've seen a lot of things about India, but what I like here is that you have photographs in black and white which is quite unusual because generally when you speak about India you speak about the colour, the perfume and things like that and here you have different photographs that let your imagination work a little bit around India and its environment and the people that live here, their culture and things like that so it's very, to put it simple, it's very stimulating The exhibition is a beautiful selection of photographs which documents the journey of Durga Puja very well. The black and whites are quite intense and expressive. I really like these two pieces, the work that she is done, uh, the statues and the face because they are like very pure and very clean and nice. It's really great to see the process behind uh, the magic that is Durga Puja, especially because I am from Kapta and I'm Bengali. I really wanted to see her exhibition and it's been very nice and I love some of the close-up shots of the idol's face. And my favourite um, photograph was a close-up of her finished um, face which which is just bursting with emotion. If you look at the eyes and how the eyes have been painted and how they're looking, I think it's just brilliant. So that's brilliantly captured. I thought that the, the fact that there, all the photographs were done in natural light and without a tripod um, is also commendable because using natural light to give that depth of feeling, um, it's not easy. So Smith has done a great job.